Welcome back to part three of this mini series. Today we're going to be talking about BIOS and how to put them, where to put them. So first of all, as you know, the PlayStation 2 didn't work and neither did PlayStation 1. So I'm going to show you how you know what missing BIOSes you have. Instead of just going through each one of these and go, okay, well that game's not working, that game's not working, we got an easier way of doing it. So all you got to do is hit start, go down to missing BIOS and check. This might take a second. So as you can see right now, these are the only two BIOSes you need. But the reality is you probably should grab all of these BIOSes too. Because all these BIOS right here goes for different systems, the Omega, the Apple, and everything that you will need to play your retro video games. This even has Famicom Disk System, Sega so CD stuff in here. You name it, it has it, and you're going to need it. So how do you fix this problem to get the BIOSes working? Well, this is simple. So you got to find BIOSes online. I cannot tell you how to do that here, but contact me on my Facebook page, and we'll talk through Messenger, and I will help you with BIOSes. I will help you with ROMs. Or if you just want to buy a fully built retro bat system with ROMs in it, all you got to do is pay me for my time and the hard drive itself. And we'll get you one out. If you just want a hard drive that's just fully ready to go with all the emulators set up with all the BIOSes and everything, we'll get you going. Anyway, so let's show you how to do this BIOS. So all you got to do is exit out of here by hitting start and quit. And as you see here on this side, I have a empty retro bat BIOS right here. I know it doesn't look empty, but on this side, I have my original BIOS set up from my actual build. So all we're going to do is copy all these files and folders. And then all we got to do is drag and drop. And it'll copy over and you'll be good to go. So we're gonna let that work its magic. So as you see, it's working its magic. <clears throat> and if this ever pops up, I would do this. I would replace this file in directory. Because they're gonna have a lot of files that are gonna be exactly the same. So you're going to probably have to hit that a few times. All right, the BIOS folder has been transferred over into the BIOS. So I know that's kind of funny, but that was my old BIOSes into the new RetroBat. So now let's hop back over to RetroBat and let's see if we can play some of those old games. So now we're back to RetroBat. Now the first thing I would do is check the BIOS folder. So what I would do is hit start. Go down to game settings, go check missing BIOS. Now, as you see on our PS1 and PS2 BIOSes, they're already taken care of. If you hit all, <clears throat> you're missing these files. Now, these ones ain't a big deal. This is just another computer system they probably added that I will probably never use. Most people would never use it, but if you guys are planning on using it, let me know. I will find the BIOSes for you guys. Again, just contact me on my Facebook page. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and subscribe to DTV83 here and DTV83 on my Facebook. So let's go check if those two systems are able to be played now. PlayStation 1. Now, I don't even know what this game is, so I might not be able to show it to you. Uh, I'm going to turn the sound off so I don't get no copyright claim. Alright, so as you see, it does work. So let's move on to the PlayStation 2. Alright. Let's try the PlayStation 2 now. 
Believe it or not, I think my batteries are dead in my uh, remote. So now I'm going to use the mouse to try things. So as you see, this emulator is not installed yet. So again, there's times where you need a different emulator, the game will know that, or there'll be times where you know you might have to choose a different emulator, like in this case. The emulator didn't work, so we're just going to hold that down. Usually with A, but I can do it with the mouse as well. Go to the advanced game option. And I would actually use just this. Not the 16-bit one, but just the standard one. Now again, this is good lessons. You know, this is good lessons for everybody. There you go. Now it works. There you go. Columbia Pictures. Again, I'm keeping the sound off to the games. I don't want no copyright claims. But there you guys go. After you get your viruses in, all your consoles will be working fantastically. Now, I know for a fact when we did the Xbox 360 one, it said it was still missing BIOS issues, but I won't say it now because we got the BIOS it needs. It probably will even load faster like it did here. So as you see, there was no BIOS is missing. It works beautifully. It loads faster. Like a little arcade machine. <laughs> and it runs nice and smooth. You see that? It runs nice and smooth. Now remember, this is Xbox 360. Now, I will say, these emulators depend on your computer. If your computer's top grade, holy crap, gaming machine, Run the Xbox 360, run PS3, run PS4 if you can get the emulator to work. And your machine will handle it. If your machine is low grade, your machine probably won't handle Xbox 360. Or maybe not even PS2. It just really depends on your machine. For me, this machine is working fantastic. There are all ways around it. Like say you have a game that's going real slow, you can do tricks. And... I can show you some of those tricks later. If you guys want to. If you guys want to go just grab this out of a box and play it. Always leave comments down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. I will have videos. Whatever you guys you want. So yes, the game is working. Look at that. I have never played this game. And the load time is probably faster, Dr. Coco. Oh. So the load time is fantastic. It looks good. Does it, I don't ever play this game, so you guys tell me, have you ever played this game? Is this game moving too slow, too fast? Because to me, it seems like it's running just great. Now, on my main build, I have some other Xbox 360 games that run just fantastic. But I've never played this game. This game's kind of cool. I won't let me pass into this scene. So anyways, guys. So that is how you add BIOS to your RetroBat system. If you want to see more on the RetroBat system, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next there's a lot to this retro bat and there's a lot of new stuff coming out every few months so let me know in the comments what you guys need help with and i will help you out in video form catch on my next video peace